What up y'all? It's Rob with Extreme Boating and welcome back to the channel as always. And today we're going to be going over some mods you can do on your Bass Tracker Classic XL to extend the fuel range. So most of us got a six gallon tank. I run a 12. I'll show you the most optimal positioning for that as well as some part numbers in order to do the mod and uh, enjoy a little bit more time out on the water without having to worry about fuel. All right, so what we're looking at here is a 12 gallon fuel tank. It's made by Moeller or Moeller, however you pronounce it. Anyways, it's a part number 630013, L as in Larry, P as in Paul. And you could find it at any West Marine. I'd assume maybe even Cabela's or Bass Pro has it, but it's pretty easy to find. You definitely can buy it on Amazon. This fuel cap right here is also not the one provided on the tank. This is a manual vent. The one that came on it is an automatic vent. And I don't like the automatic vents because they do have a high history of failure. That cap right there, I'll go ahead and provide a picture or a link of it down below. Actually, matter of fact, I can pull up what it is. So it's going to be a part number 621501-10. And again, it's made by Moeller or Moeller. I like this fuel tank. Obviously because of the range, but because it fits just perfectly in the Bass Tracker Classic XLs. So I'll go ahead and show you the kind of spacing we have here so as you can see we got plenty of space to work with i can definitely fit stuff in there without fear of uh, you know squishing it there's um definitely a lot of room for tank expansion this is the best way to mount it obviously uh the cap is closest to you know the wide open area and then right in the middle is the sight glass which you see is uh the tank almost on empty actually still has i'd probably say about four or five gallons in it but uh the sight glass isn't incredibly accurate still is a good tool to have though the tank straps here this was a little difficult to do on my own but you just gotta mark and measure the actual uh oh the the hooks that run on the floor itself it's gonna run down right about there you can't see it it's it's kind of right under the tank but actually the tank winds up being really secure if you do it correctly as you can see there's there's no movement whatsoever I have nothing to worry about as the tank gets jarred around in the water and it, it hooks up exactly like the six gallon did I did didn't make any changes at all to any fuel lines or anything like that and then I just went ahead and ran the excess, as you can see, just right here on the side, kind of right out of the way. And it provides plenty of room for my onboard charger to do its thing. So anyways, as I said, I will provide links to all these parts down below definitely uh gets me a lot of range it gets me i'd probably say about 100 to 105 miles before it's empty i'd say maybe even 110 it just depends but that's if i'm like going wide open throttle everywhere which i normally do so anywho hope this video was helpful i know a lot of new owners are always inquiring about fuel tanks so i figured why not make this and go ahead and let you guys know the dirty down low but ideally this is getting back to it this is the most ideal way you want to run it and then it still provides space for a battery to the right and then two batteries to the left if you run two then it's really no big deal but this is the most optimal positioning for good weight distribution purposes as the fuel runs down you will always that weight will always be centralized. It won't be like off. 
So anywho guys, hope this helps. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time.